Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video and welcome back to another set of top 200 squad battles rewards. Okay, remember it's Sunday today guys, got my poppy on, um, means a lot to me, so yeah, just thought I would put that into the video first. But let's get into the rewards, that's what you are here for and I had another a uh, good week of uh, coaching with a guy called Dan. Played the whole 40 games with him. And very pleased to say that we managed to improve on our score massively. Which I'm really pleased about. Because that's the whole point of coaching people to make them better. And we actually finished 8th and 9th this week. So this week we got our 87.5 coins. Our two red players pack and our ultimate pack. Which is a little bit more like what we are used to getting of course around here. Let's a quick look at the leaderboard though, and you will see, there we go, so I finished 8th, and there's Dan finished ninth. but we literally, that's all part of the learning process I suppose, we lost game 37, so I think we got like 900 points for it, so you're at least going to get another 2,000 points, so yeah, a little bit gutting, because we would have finished 3rd and 4th, but... Still a great job, so well done, Dan. And yeah, we get some decent rewards from it. We've got our marquee matchups waiting for us in the store um, as well. And there is actually uh, quite a few things out at the moment that we wouldn't mind packing. Let's just quickly show you guys. So yeah, we've got this new um, Adidas-like promo where the cards are going to go to 99 uh, rated. So we've got them, and then we've also got a half-decent... Um, team of the week as well with Neymar in it Goretzka I can sell quite a few decent cards out there so maybe just maybe we'll be able to pack something that uh, is worth something so I know these market marquee matchup packs aren't the best but there's not an awful lot else um, out there so they've paid out for us before as well so I thought why not so we'll just go through these open them and work our way up the ladder in terms of pack size and just see if we can get someone decent because it's been a couple of weeks now since we've had someone good and we start off with dumb freeze which from that type of pack i suppose isn't too bad so the coming week what can we expect so honestly i'm not kidding you um <coughs> i've got a really big announcement coming up tomorrow very very big announcement i can't say too much more than that but, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to sharing that news with you guys. It's going to be something really, really good. And the rest of the content will follow that announcement. So, fortunately, can't say too much. Right. Okay, next pack, we get holding from Arsenal. Centre-back, not much use to us at all. So, in terms of uh, improving my team, there isn't an awful lot to improve because... I haven't been playing with my team, to be quite honest with you, because we use uh, Dan's team to play um, squad battles uh, co-op, and his team is absolutely stacked. You would have seen me do a squad builder um, a week or two ago, um, showing the team that we were using. Um, it's changed a little bit, but it's so good. Really makes uh, life a lot easier. Okay, next pack. Still nothing out of that. Messi is a card that we're using at the moment that I really, really like. That won't surprise you but I'm talking about in terms of um, squad battles gameplay um, really really like him and actually guys you know that I packed uh, that Rooney card out of the base icon SBC I've played a few uh, rivals games and stuff like that he is actually okay he's usable so yeah for those of you that said to me no Martin make sure you give him a go thank you because yeah I love Rooney and he is actually pretty decent so yeah all, all is good there I half thought about doing another icon SBC but it's just a waste of coins so that's why we literally just built these marquee matchup packs to see if we could get something out of them. And so far, it hasn't really paid off. I know that they're not great packs, but sometimes if your luck's in, your luck is in. So we're now down to our uh, mega pack that we got for completing the marquee matchups, which guarantees us an 82 plus player. And then we're on to the two red player packs and the ultimate pack. So we've got quite a few rare players coming here. So hopefully we can see a promo card. We get our first flames, which is going to be Maratta, who's got a flashback card at the moment, which isn't for me at all. So we'll just get rid of them. So now we're on to the big boy packs. This is where I'm expecting to see some action. We missed out on these packs last week because uh, we only finished top 50, but 
eighth place finish this week. Like I said, a little bit more like it. And hopefully we can get something decent here. So we've got 24 rare players there, 30 there. So we've got 54 rare players. E8, it's time for you to start hooking us up. We still only get flames. That's not good enough. It's Brozovic. And one of these promo cards, man. Something that's going to be worth a decent amount. Like, I literally don't care about discarding these because they're just worthless anyway. Right, last rare players pack and then we're on to the ultimate pack. We really need to start seeing a walkout here. And we don't. More flames. You can hear it in my voice. I'm just <laughs> disheartened by it. Like, come on EA, give us something, man. Yeah, a load of discards. Whatever. You can see my transfer list is absolutely rammed to the rafters anyway. Right, okay, so we're down to our ultimate pack. This has to be a walkout or I'm literally going to end up crying because I cannot tell you the graft that went into this week. It's not just the playing, but the stress and the mental side of it, obviously in terms of the coaching. Um, so we deserve to see something decent out of this. And I hope for everyone's sake, including mine, that it is. Let's see a good promo card. Come on, EA. This is our ultimate pack. Yes, we get something. What? What is what? Oh, okay. That completely threw me. I'm always I'm used to seeing them like start walking on. He was just a, there was just some bloke standing there, and that bloke was Tony Cruz, who is a walkout. Um, he's 88 rated. He is slow as anything. So my fear is that he is going to be worth nothing, or. Because of that uh, base icon SBC, is he still, are they still going to be worth something? Not really, are they? Okay, so 25, I'd accept that at the moment. We get a Vardy in there and a, a Griezmann. I suppose they're going to sell for something. Any massive duplicate? No, just bog standard stuff. Well, we got our walkout that we was after. Um, so I suppose we can't grumble. Like I said, as long as we get at least one walkout from every video, I suppose that I can um, say it was a success, kind of. But guys, that is it for today. Uh, please drop a like on the video if you like the scene. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh, already. And please keep your eye out for tomorrow. I promise you, I've got a big announcement coming. So I will see you tomorrow. See you later, guys. <laughs>